So last time we ended in the reading of Chaitanya Charit Amrita, <clears throat> Madhya Leela, text 182. Hmm? So we will start also with this text because it's a very nice text. We will again wow. read it. Ka Krishnaya Branaya Jani Bhu Srimati Rati Kaika Kasya Priyasya Nupuma Guna Rati Kaika Nachanya. Jaim Yang Keshetrishi Talalata Nishturat Vam Kuchesya Vansha Purtyai Prabhavati Hare Radhikaika Najanya. If one asks about the origin of love of Krishna, the answer is that the origin is in Srimati Radharani alone, who is the most dear friend of Krishna? The answer again is Srimati Radharani alone. Wow. No one else. Srimati Radharani's hair is very curly. Her two eyes are always moving to and from. And her breasts are firm. Since all transcendental qualities are manifest, in Srimati Radharani, she alone is able to fulfill all the desires of Krishna, no one else. This is a quotation from Sri Govinda Lilamrita 11.122 by Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. It is a verse in the form of questions and answers describing the glories of Srimati Radharani. So, we are reading the talks between the Lord and Ramananda Roy still. Texts 183 to 184. Yanra Saubokya Guna Vancha Satya Bahama Yanra Tani Kala Vilas Sikke Bracharama Yanra Sondharyadi Guna Vanche Lakshmi Parvati Yanra Pativrata Dharma Vanche Arundhati Even Satya Bhama, one of the queens of Sri Krishna, desires the fortune, position and excellent qualities of Srimati Radharani. All the gopis learn the art of dressing from Srimati Radharani. And even the goddess of fortune Lakshmi and the wife of Lord Shiva, Parvati, desire her beauty and qualities. 
Indeed, Arundhati, the celebrated chaste wife of Vashishta, also wants to imitate the chastity and religious principles of Srimati Radharani. Text 185. Yan Rasadguna Ganane Krishna Napaya Para Tanra Guna Gani Beke Mane Jiva Chara. Even Lord Krishna himself can not reach the limit of the transcendental qualities of Srimati Radharani. How then can an insignificant living entity count them? Text 186 Prabhu Jani Lun Krishna Rata Prema Tattva Shuni Te Chai E Dunhara Vilas Mahatva Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied Now I have come to understand the truth of the loving affairs between Rata and Krishna. Nonetheless, I still want to hear how both of them gloriously enjoy such love. Text 187 Rai Kahe Krishna Haya Dira Lalita Nirantara Kamakrita Yanhara Charita Roy Ramananda replied, Lord Krishna is dearer Lalita, for he can always keep his girlfriends in a subjugated state. Thus his only business is in enjoying sense gratification. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. We should always remember that Krishna's sense gratification is never to be compared to the sense gratification of the material world. As we have already explained, Krishna's sense gratification is just like gold. The perverted reflection of that sense gratification found in the material world is just like iron. The purport is that Krishna is not impersonal he has all the desires that are manifest in the perverted reflection within this material world. However, the qualities are different. One is spiritual and the other is material. Just as there is a difference between life and death, there's a difference between spiritual sense gratification and material sense gratification. <clears throat> well, it's a very interesting point. The spiritual sense gratification is the life, and the material sense gratification is the death. 
I think we all have some experience in that. <laughs> Text 188 Vidak Donava Tarunya Parihas Visaradha Nishinto Dira Lalita Syat Praya Praya Siva Saha A person who is very cunning and always youthful, expert in joking, and without anxiety, and who can keep his girlfriends always subjugated, is called Dira Lalita. This is a verse from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2.1.230. Text 189. Ratri dina kunje grida kare rata sange, kashura vaya sasapala kaila krita range. Day and night. Lord Sri Krishna enjoys the company of Srimati Radharani in the bushes of Brindavan. Thus, he pre -youthful, uh, thus his pre-youthful age was fulfilled through his affairs with Trimati Radharani. Text 190 Thus, Lord Sri Krishna spoke of the sexual activities of the previous night. In this way, he made Srimati Radharani close her eyes out of shyness. Taking this opportunity, Sri Krishna painted various types of dolphins on her breasts. Thus, he became a very expert artist for all the gopis. During such pastimes, the Lord enjoyed the fulfillment of his youth. That was a quotation from Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2.1.231. Text 191. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, this is all right, but please continue. At that time, Ramananda Roy replied, I don't think my intelligence goes beyond this. Interesting point, he's saying my intelligence. Roy Ramananda then informed Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that there was another topic known as Brema Vilas Vivarta. You may hear of this from me, Ramananda Roy said. However, I do not know whether you will be happy with, uh, with it or not. Purport from Srila Prabhupada. These statements are set forth for our understanding. According to Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, 
in his Amrita Pravaha Bhashya, in essence, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Ramananda Roy, My dear Ramananda, the explanation you have given about the goal of life and the pastimes of Srimati Radharani and Krishna is certainly the truth. Although this is factually, uh, this is factual, you can continue telling me more if there is anything more to say. In reply, Ramananda Roy said, I do not think I have anything to say beyond this. But there is a topic known as Prema Vilas Vivarta, which I may explain to you. I do not know whether it will bring you happiness or not. Text 193 Eta Bali Appana Krita Gita Eka Gahila Preme Prabhu Svahaste Tanra Mukka Achadila Saying this, Ramananda Roy began to sing a song he had composed. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, out of ecstasy of love of Godhead, immediately covered Ramananda's mouth with his own hand. So from this we can understand that this was not actually for everyone, what Ramananda Roy began to sing. And it was beyond his intelligence, like he said before. So, that has another meaning also. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. The topics that are about to be discussed between Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Roy cannot be understood by a materialistic poet, nor by intelligence or material perception. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur states that the spiritual mellow can be realized only when one is situated on the transcendental platform beyond the material stage of goodness. That platform is called Vishuddha Sattva. Sattvam Vishuddham Vasudeva Saptitam. Realization of the Vishuddha Sattva is beyond the pale of the material world and is not perceived by bodily senses or mental speculation. Our identification with the cross body and subtle mind is different from spiritual understanding. Since the intelligence and mind are material, the loving affairs of Sri Rata and Krishna are beyond their perception. Sarvopati vinir muktam Tat paratvena nirmalam. When we are free from all material designations and our senses are completely purified by the bhakti process, 
We can understand the sense activities of the absolute truth. Rishikena Rishikesha Sevanam Bhakti Uchate. So that statement is very clear that we can only perceive these topics in our spiritual form. Because it's about spiritual feelings and we cannot perceive in a material body, in bodily consciousness, we can never get spiritual feelings actually. It's not possible. So that's why we can only understand these topics if we are actually in the position that by the mercy of Radharani, by the mercy of the Guru Dev, Guru Manjari, we get our form, our real position, our real ego, and then we may have this perception more and more till we are completely steady in this position. That means first we have to get the realization of our real person, our real position, and then also be stable in that unshakable and then we always perceive what actually is going on in the spiritual realm so Prabhupada makes it very clear Somebody wants to add something on that? That's the solution. Nothing to add in the world. You are damaged so much. Goes in the heart. Satogun is to live in the Gunas. Sudha Sattva living in the soul consciousness. And we should, the Sudha Sattva is in Sarupanda. In Sarup. In Sarup. In Sarup. In Sarup, then I can. Go to feel which of the Sutta Sattva is the pure spiritual goodness. <laughs> and we can understand divine feeling of the mind, a sense in your what we enjoy the senses, how we enjoy the senses, and that only we can see is a divine, is not like the material of the so Prabhupada. Say this Sarup and Sarup Siddhi is a good because of this. Sarup is the Vishuddha Sarup. And 
So we should just have to ask. We are in our own service. Then we can understand the divine pastime of the divine. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai Prabhupada. He is making it so clear. The spiritual senses are beyond the material senses. Point in our life that we never develop in Sutta sense, uh, spiritual senses in which the Sutta. We see from our material senses, it's impossible. What is the meaning of Govardhan? Govardhan senses, but that means to increase your sense desire, speaking sense desire. Then you can enter in a project. So, Raghunatha Goswami received Govardhan Sila. Why we worship Govardhan Sila? To increase our spiritual To develop the spiritual senses. Our Saru, what we say, Madhuri but we are so much down from material sense in general that we cannot go beyond that. A materialist can think only of the negation of material variety. He cannot understand spiritual variety. Actually, I just get some inspiration by reading these words. We tend to be in this consciousness that actually we want to negate things. For example, we used the senses and the mind so many lives for enjoyment, so-called enjoyment, material. But instead of using the real senses, By getting more enjoyment, the real enjoyment, we want to negate also like the false ego. I heard so many times in ISKCON, we have to destroy the false ego, but actually is this really the way? Do I have to destroy or let destroy my ego, my false ego, or is it the way to go to the real ego, and by the way, the false ego is falling down, back, because it's not interesting anymore. Oh, so, what is the way? The way is Sharnagati. Sharnagati means to surrender my false ego. Sharanagadi means to be on the way of the real ego, right? Yeah. That's the point. And the other point will be automatically be fulfilled. My poison, I cannot hold. And if I will hold it, I cannot go to the beyond this. Yes. 
So that means I have to take shelter by the dancer who is dancing on my false ego. And when he is dancing, then, then I will get the mercy. And by the mercy, the false ego will be destroyed. So it's a question of the mercy. Go and take the mercy. Not go and try to destroy your ego. This is the false way. This is negation. And this is very clear. Prabhupada states it here. A, mater a materialist can only think of negation of material variety. This is material thinking. He cannot understand spiritual variety. So Prabhupada is stating very clear, go for the spiritual variety. That's our goal. Not think about the negative. Think about the positive. Gurudev, you always say this, like, right? Somehow I cannot hear. Good if I cannot hear you. I follow your words. Because you are telling. You are Gauravani. I follow your words. Your words are Gauravani. I'm just like a puppet in your hand. I'm just like, you know, again telling what you told me, actually. No, I am and I will share this A materialist thinks that spiritual variety simply contradicts material variety and is a negation of void. But such conceptions can not even reach the precincts of spiritual realization. So Prabhupada is making it very clear. It's not the negation. It's actually going and take shelter, going and take the new, the new identity, the real ego. I am a maid servant of my Swamini. That's the way. I am a maid servant of my Swamini, yet completely unqualified. But that's why I take shelter, because I know she is Karuna Mai. I know she will show me the way, even I have no qualification. I am completely fallen. But anyway, at least I understood that I take shelter. So it's not a question of negation. The wonderful activities of the cross body and subtle mind are always imperfect. They are below the degree of spiritual understanding and are ephemeral. The spiritual mellow is eternally wonderful and is described as Purna Shuddha Nitya Mukta that is completely purified and eternally liberated from all material conceptions. So if we go for Purna Shuddha, Nitya Mukta, <laughs> which in our case means the service of Radharani, then 
Eternally, eternally, it's over. No material conceptions anymore. Automatically. When we are unable to fulfill our material desires, there is certainly sorrow and confusion. This may be described as vivarta. However, in spiritual life, there is no sorrow in a priority or imperfection. Srila Ramananda Roy was expert in realizing the spiritual activities of Srimati Radharani and Krishna. In Ramananda's spiritual experience was placed before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as he inquired whether the Lord approved his realizations of spiritual truth. There are three books prominent in this connection. One was written by Bhaktadas Paola and is called Vivarta Vilas. Another was compiled by Jagat Ananda and is called Prema Vivarta. Sri Ramananda Roy's book is called Prema Vilas Vivarta. The Vivarta Vilas by Bhaktadas Paula is completely different from the other two books. Sometimes a university student or professor tries to study these transcendental literatures and attempts to put forth a critical analysis from the mundane view. With an end to receiving degrees like PhD. Such realization is certainly different from that of Ramananda Roy. If one actually wants to take a PhD degree from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and be approved by Ramananda Roy, he must first become free from all material designations. Sarvopati vinir muktam tat paratvena nirmalam. A person who identifies with this, uh, with his material body, cannot understand these talks between Sri Ramananda Roy and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Man-made religious scriptures and transcendental philosophical talks are quite different. Indeed, there is a gulf of difference between the two. This subject matter has been very delightfully described by Sriman Madhva Acharya. Since material philosophers are situated in the material frame of Vilas Vivarta, they are unable to realize the spiritual frame Vilas Vivarta. They cannot accommodate an elephant upon a dish. Similarly, mundane speculators cannot capture the spiritual elephant within their limited conception. It is just like a frog trying to measure the Atlantic Ocean by imagining it so many times larger than his well. Materialistic philosophers 
and Sahajyas cannot understand the talks between Ramananda Roy and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu concerning the pastimes of Sri Radha and Krishna. The only tendency of the impersonalists or the Prakrita Sahajyas is to face the platform of impersonalism. They cannot understand the spiritual. Consequently, when Ramananda Roy attempted to sing his own verses, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stopped him by covering his mouth with his own hand. Text number 194 Alas, before we meet, or before we met, there was an initial attachment between us brought about by an exchange of glances. In this way, attachment evolved. That attachment has gradually begun to grow and there is no limit to it. Now that attachment has become a natural sequence between ourselves. It is not that it is due to Krishna, the enjoyer, nor is it due to me, for I am the enjoyed. It is not like that. This attachment was made possible by mutual meeting. This mutual exchange of attraction is known as Manubhav or Cupid. Krishna's mind and my mind have merged together. Now, during this time of separation, it is very difficult to explain these loving affairs. My dear friend, Krishna might have forgotten all these things. However, you can understand and bring this message to him. But during our first meeting, there was no messenger between us, nor did I request anyone to see him. Indeed, Cupid's five arrows were our via media. Now, during this separation, that attraction has increased to another ecstatic state. My dear friend, Please act as a messenger on my behalf because 
If one is in love with a beautiful person, this is the consequence. Purport. These verses were originally composed and sung by Ramananda Roy himself. Srila Bhaktivinotakur suggests that during the time of enjoyment, the attachment might be compared to Cupid himself. However, during the period of separation, Cupid becomes a messenger of highly elevated love. This is called Brema Vilas Vivarta. When there is a separation, enjoyment itself acts like a messenger. And that messenger was addressed by Srimati Radharani as a friend. The essence of this transaction is simple. Loving affairs are as relishable during separation as during enjoyment. When Sri Mati Radharani was fully absorbed in love of Krishna, she, mus she mistook a black tamala tree for Krishna and embraced it. Such a mistake is called Brema Vivarta Vilas. Text 195. Oh, Ogoravani, I have a question. <coughs> Please. In this verse, it says that the five arrows of the love god were our only. Oh, I have only the, the German via, version. Via media. Via, Via media. media. So, can you explain the five arrows of the of Cupid? Well, we are actually chanting this in the Diksha mantras. We are chanting about these arrows, and this is actually the exchange that Radharani is actually capturing all the senses of. Krishna, that's why he's called Govinda. So it's about this, but I'm sure you have a goal, so please go further, because it's it's a very broad topic, so I don't know where you want to go through, to which point. No, I... Maybe. Yeah? No, I have no intention. I just would like to know how these five arrows i mean yes we are chanting tamagayatri and obviously this refers to that and then obviously. these five arrows these are the touch the taste the smell oh touch taste smell yes we're all on. hearing i don't know Gurudev I wants to say something i cannot hear Ras Madhuri, Venu Madhuri, and five Rasas, Hello, Vistas. Uh, uh, Rupa Madhuri. Mm -hmm. And what five arrows like this, man? Rupa Madhuri. 
Bueno, Marcos. Ah, you remember? Prima. This is fine. Arroz. So I don't know, Guru Davis mentioned, I don't know so much, but uh, say, this is five So five hours, usually we say like five, five hours senses. <laughs> and Guru Davis say, uh, ben Madhuri ben and Dira Madhuri and Prema Madhuri and Prasa Madhuri Rupa Madhuri and Rasa Madhuri so I don't know so much but in general speaking Krishna's five senses and all other five senses is like a five arrow. Like uh, if say like Radha and side long glances, and this like kind of arrow, Krishna heart was completely stolen, and sometimes you know pain, sometimes like shivering. Or oh, sometimes, like uh, you know, tea is coming, like many ecstatic symptoms is coming, and also Krishna has also five arrows. Krishna also sometimes, you know, then Guru to play, then Radharani becomes ecstatic, become crazy, and long after Krishna. Also, if Krishna touch Radharani, or Krishna in a kiss, or Krishna, you know, like aroma, or Krishna the beauty, so then, you know, and then Radharani become ecstatic. So we prepare Radharani shoot arrow to Krishna, Moha. Then Krishna become ecstatic, sometimes fainted. At that time, Radharani is coming to anything. So Radharani said to, you know, Rati Manjari, sometimes Rupa Manjari, oh, please help me. I cannot do anything. And then, Dhyam Manjari, or maybe Guru Manjari, so praying for Bina, which taught by Tuamini. This music describes loving affair of Radha Moha. Sometimes Radha's name. So, and then Moha become awakened. <laughs> And then Lada could meet Moha again. Then again another realize started. So this 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 five arrow Kamagaitri. It is said Kamagaitri represented Krishna. Twenty-four point of hub syllable. This all Krishna's you know body, but uh, for for us also represent the Krishna Radha Rani. Also, Radha Mohan there need Manjali. Without Manjali, Radha Mohan Lida is not completed. So, I don't know. I don't know if it is fit for this sentence, but uh, so Gurudev asked me to say something. So I spoke. 
everything everything about radharani is maduram so we are singing in Mungaraj Mandir and uh, noon time, Bogarati, at that time we say Madura, Madura, Actually, this Madura is yes. 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 Very sweet. Very sweet. Mohan also sweet. Mohan is but actually, Radhana is very sweet. This Madurashtaka also represents Radha. Anything, any Lira or Baba or Prema or anything is Madura. So Krishna was Krishna was attracted all three worlds. But uh, Radharani, well, no, actually, Krishna attracted even Cupid. But uh, Radharani attracted even Moha. Then speaking, we say Madana Moha. Madana Moha means uh, attract even Cupid. But the latter is Madana Moha Mohini. So Krishna uh, Radharani attract Madana Moha. Also, it is saying if Radharani is there. This is Madana Moha. <laughs> but without Radharani, cannot, we cannot say Madana Moha. <laughs> because uh, Cupid <laughs> attract <laughs> Moha. So without, without Radharani, <laughs> Moha cannot do. <laughs> Anything because for Radharan is energy of Moha, especially for Radini Shakti. So, without Shakti, without energy, what Krishna can do? What can Krishna do? So, therefore, our Gaudiya Vaishnava, Moha with Radha. <coughs> So Radha is necessary. So, for us, Radha is more important. And Mohan Krishna is Radha's Mohan. Radha's Krishna. Guru Dev before I said a few days ago. Also, Prabhupada also said, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, presiding deity. Presidentality is Radharani. Hare Krishna Mahamantra actually meant for Radharani. This is we learn from Bhagavatam. Also from Gurudev. Many people thinking, oh, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, oh, Krishna. Oh, many people thinking, oh, Radha and Krishna. But the Prabhupada said, Hare Krishna Mahamantra, actually glorification of Radha because with you know without energy Krishna cannot do 
Krishna is not perfect. 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 Krishna is not As a manjari, as a nagada, our Ishtadeva, Ishtadevi, is Sri Matarada. That is our goal. And Radhara Niseva, Radha's Mohan Sev, that is our goal. Thank you. No, thank you very much. And Gauravani, I just tried to go deeper into that subject because it's not very uh, fully clear to me, so I try to learn a little bit more. Thank you for your nice questions and uh, inspiration, actually. So what Jayananda just said, actually, um, that the Mahamantra is made for Radharani, Srila Prabhupada actually is telling this in verse number, let's see, it's verse number 55, actually, 55. And Srila Ananda Das Babaji is explaining it very nicely here. And he is explaining the Mahamantra from the view of Radhika, actually. You want to hear? Yes, very much. Once Sri Radhika tried to stop the tears, she cried out of separation from Krishna. By meditating on him and constantly repeating these names of him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Nama Sarvana Matrena Mama Mano Harasi. Hare means, you steal my mind when I simply hear your name. Krishna Vangshi. Vajena Grihatvanam Mama Karshasi. Krishna means by playing your flute, you attract me from my house into the forest. Hare Laja Dayadikam Harasi. Again, Hare. You steal my shame and my patience. Krishna Sangha Surabhyena Mama Kashasi Krishna, you attract me with your bodily fragrance. Krishna Sangha Lavanyena Pralobhya Mama Kashasi. Krishna, with your bodily luster, you attract me and make me greedy. Krishna Sarvadikanandena Pralobhya Mama Karshasi. Krishna, with your supreme bliss, you attract me and make me greedy. Hare Svabahu Nibadham Mampushpa 
sayam pratinayasi hare you bind me in your arm and take me to a bed of flowers hare tatra nivesitaya me antariyam baladharasi hare there you take off my undergarments in this way there's also a very relishable and confidential meaning of the hari rama half of the mantra the kinkaris tried to soothe shri radhika's burning pain by singing these names to her and by offering her cooling substances such as sandalwood pulp camphor lotus stems and so when radha's girlfriends notice that she still does not regain consciousness they sent the kinkaris out to find krishna himself so i think this is the explanation where jayananda was actually going for this mahamantra is made for radharani Radha Rasa Sura Nidhi, verse number 55, in the explanation, if somebody wants to search for it. <clears throat> And it also shows how the senses of Radha Rani are attracted also to Krishna. Of course, we hear, we love to hear. how krishna senses are attracted to radharani that's our taste So Ramananda Roy composed his song and this song is still going on you want to hear that 195 Oh my lord you live in the forest of Govardhan hill and like the king of elephants you are expert in the art of conjugal love o master of the universe your heart and shrimati radharani's heart are just like shelak and are now melted in your spiritual perspiration therefore one can no longer distinguish between you and shrimati radharani now you have mixed your newly invoked affection which is like vermilion with your melted hearts and for the benefit of the whole world 
You have painted both your hearts red within this great palace of the universe. Wow, again, I have a question. <clears throat> to understand it deep, deeply, so they have molten hearts, which are red like vermilion. And those molten hearts have mixed, they have become one. And this has happened for the benefit of the whole world. So now the question is, how far does this happen to the benefit of the whole world? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a side effect for the benefit. <laughs> well, but it's interesting for us because we are but still in the, in the it's world. It's a very interesting <laughs> side effect for us, yes. <laughs> It's the most important side effect for us. Actually, I, I don't know if I understand right, but my feelings actually are with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, because in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, these two hearts are molten together, and they are actually in a special mood. Because the, um, how you say, Ausstrahlung? The effulgence. The uh, effulgence. Mm -hmm. Yes. The effulgence of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is from the same uh, mood when Radharani is sitting on Krishna's lap. Brahma Vaichitra. So this mood is actually expressed. It's, it's shining through us. And this is actually giving us the mercy, the light of mercy, the drops of mercy, however we may say this. But actually, this is actually giving fire to our heart. That's why it's red. It's really burning. It's really hot tempered it's it's uh, how you say a leidenschaft um passionate passion yes it's the greatest spiritual passion and this greatest spiritual passion if this is actually coming to our heart it may bring a fire it may burn and this is actually what lord chaitanya is doing right Wherever he goes, he is spreading this feeling, this deep, passionate feeling. Although he's holding the mouth of Ramananda Roy, he's very satisfied to hear that. <laughs> because this is the mood inside. But we cannot say openly. Can I say a little bit? <coughs> yes, please. So I may not understand, but my feeling like this. So Radharani, we are bluish sari because. Always think Mohan. So he, she wears Mohan's color clothes. But inside the sari and red blouse there. So and that jolly blouse, Radharani express 
inside so much passion for Mohan. So Radharani is like a fire. Day and night thinking and also hankering to meet, to, to, to have bilas with Mohan. So then Manjari, our, you know, our Manjari, we arrange to meet Moh, Radha and Moha. And then Manjari brought Moha, Radha Moha, and Nikunja, or sometimes Nibriti Nikunja. So Radha and Moha, they're so much passionate. And then they are melting heart. And then they become like uh, one. They don't know who is Radha. They don't know. Radha, I, Radha forget I'm Radha. Krishna forget I'm Krishna. So Radha was thinking, oh, I'm Krishna. Krishna thinking, oh, I'm Radha. So completely divarta. Illusion. Due to Prema, due to Mahababa. They completely forget themselves. <laughs> completely spiritual illusion. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Prema Viraza Vibhadana. And then that feeling, Krishna want to know. And then again, Radha Mohan, become together because Krishna want to steal that mood. Krishna want to taste that, that feeling again and then become Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Ramananda, no, this is uh, Ramananda Raya. He knows the secret <laughs> of Radha and Moha and Mahaprabhu. So this this is great mercy of Mahaprabhu. <laughs> and only some of Rashika could understand that this is this Prema Bira Sabibarita. So I don't know. Maybe Goranga Sundra Prabhu. He may know. <laughs> I don't know if he's there. Or... I cannot see her. I think that uh, this secret of their combined form is certainly, like you say, for the benefit of all universe and all the whole world where we are living now. And I think maybe not only for this planet Earth, even more, maybe bigger, because I don't understand how far their love is beneficial <laughs> human understanding. But this morning I had some meditation because we know in Kama Gayatri they are together. They are Ananga. Ananga means this mixing of the hearts that is beyond any one of their bodies. They become one. And like you say, um, Krishna became student of Srimati Radhika to be able to feel her feelings in that connection. And so I, I'm thinking that um, 
why it is so beneficial because Mahaprabhu, when he came to that level of relishing Shimati Radhika's Prema Vaichitya or Prema Vilas or all these high baths that where she goes mad and where they forget their identities. So I feel that Mahaprabhu is like a walking personification of these moods, like a walking personification of Kama Gayatri. So all the entities, the living souls, the jivas who come in contact with that, they can get the desires to serve this love, serve their unit, you know, their union, serve their feelings, and to develop also the feelings to serve the prem. Because actually, sometimes it is misunderstood that we want to enjoy prem, or we want to be liberated by prem. There are many misunderstandings or different moods. But here, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes and he is calling the Dasis back to the service, then they want to serve Prem. So we are serving their moods, we're serving Srimati Radhika's Babas, and even Krishna giving this example because he also says, I am your student and you make me dance. So Krishna is giving this perfect example that how the living entities also can become servants of the loving mood of our Srimati Radhika and all her different, different feelings that she has. So we can also develop our spiritual feelings more pure and come to our spiritual body and come to our spiritual existence. So thank you. This was beautifully explained and also the the depth of their meeting together that is not just an ordinary meeting together, that is actually the personification of another being of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that came from their meeting together and that blessed us with that. This is what what I was feeling. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but I feel that was the blessing what we get from their meeting. Thank you for pressing this point. I think it's it's very interesting that we we not just get some mercy, we got the highest mercy, the limit. The limit which is possible of mercy. This is what we got actually, and we still have. Because Radharani and Krishna are sharing the highest feelings of themselves with the most fallen souls of this Kali Yuga. It's astonishing it's amazing it's 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 unbelievable actually for me so it's nice to be remembered again and again and again what actually is going on here in this great temple of universe The great palace, it's actually called here. The great palace of the universe. <laughs> it's actually like a great kunj. <laughs> they make the world a kunj. And yes. if we are only able to enter it, if we are only able to serve it. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you all for sharing, but still we will go on. It is not an end. <laughs> we have still some time, right? Or yes, Isn't thirty it? minutes. Thirty minutes, good. So the talks between Lord 
The Lord and Ramananda Roy are going on. Text 196. Prabhu kahe, Satya vastura avadi e hai, Tomara prasate iha janulun nishchai. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu confirmed this verses recited by Sri Ramananda Roy, saying, <coughs> This is the limit of the goal of human life. Only by your mercy have I come to understand it conclusively. Satya vas tu sadana vinu keha nahipoi kripakari kahara e prabhara upoi. The goal of life cannot be achieved unless one practices the process. Now, being merciful upon me, please. Explain that means by which this goal can be attained. That's a very interesting point. Now we heard that we get the most precious gem which is existing. We get the offer. But now the question is how to get it? Roy kahe ye kaha o se kahivani ki kahiya bhalamanda ki chui na jani. Sri Ramananda Roy replied, I do not know what I am saying, but you have made me speak. What I have spoken, be it good or bad, I am simply repeating that message. Text 199 Tripuvana Matye Aiche Hai Gondira Yeto Maramaya Nate Hai Pekastira. Within these three worlds, who is so undisturbed that he can remain steady as you manipulate your different energies? Mora mukke vakta tumi tumi hao strota. Atyantara hasya shuna satanera kata. Actually, you are speaking through my mouth, and at the same time, you are listening. This is very mysterious. Anyway, kindly hear the explanation by which the goal. Can be attained. In the purport, Srila Prabhupada writes Srila Sanatan Goswami has advised us to hear about Krishna from a Vaishnava. He has explicitly forbidden us to hear from a A. Vaishnava. And he is writing Tesham Satat Yukta Nambajatam Priti Purvakam Dadami Buddhi Yogam Tam Yenamam Upayantite. 1010 Bhagavad Gita. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, 
I give the understanding by which they can come to me. When a pure Vaishnava speaks, he speaks perfectly. How is this? His speech is managed by Krishna himself from within the heart. Srila Ramananda Roy accept, accepts this benediction from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, he admits that whatever he was speaking was not derived from his own intelligence. Rather, everything was coming from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Text 201. Radha Krishnera Lila e Ati Gutatara Dasya Vatsalyadhi Bhavena Hoya Gochara. The pastimes of Radha and Krishna are very confidential. They cannot be understood through the mellows of servitude, fraternity, or paternal affection. Sabe eka saki ganera ihan adikara saki hoite haya e lilara vistara. Actually, only the gopis have the right to appreciate these transcendental pastimes. And only from them can these pastimes be expanded. Saki vina e lila pushtanahi hoi, saki lila vistariya saki ashvadoi. Without the gopis, these pastimes between Radha and Krishna cannot be nourished. Without the gopis, these pastimes between Radha and Krishna cannot be nourished. Only by their cooperation are such pastimes broadcast. It is their business to taste the mellows. Sakivina e lilaya anjera na hikati saki bhave yetanre kane anugati. Rata Krishna kuncha seva satya se pai se satya pai te ara nahika upai. Without the help of the gopis, one cannot enter into these pastimes. Only he who worships the Lord in the ecstasy of the gopis, following in their footsteps, can engage in the service of Sri Sri Rata Krishna in the bushes of Brindavan. Only then can one understand the conjugal love between Radha and Krishna. There is no other procedure for understanding. So can I make some comments? Please. So this say uh, Bengali or maybe Sanskrit or maybe Bengali. This say uh, Sakibina. 
So Prabhupada translate without the help of the Gopi, Prabhupada translate. But Bengali says Sakibina. So we we know Saki means two meanings. One is friend, one is manjari. Dadadashi. So this say this also in say. Oh, maybe this is uh, Bengali. Radha Krishna Kunja Kunja Seva Sadhya Seipaya. Sei Sadhya Pai de Ara Nahika Upaya. So this mentioned Kunja Seva. So Radha Krishna Kunja Seva. Saki can enter. Certain level of the past time. But uh, so we that we discussing Radha Krishna and Kunja, they are kind of melting. They they don't understand who am I. Radha thinking, oh I'm Krishna. What Krishna thinking, I'm Radha. In these past time, who can see, who can serve that that's Lila? Only Radha Dashi could understand, could serve this leader. So therefore, my understanding is like this. This, it seems describing Gopi or maybe Saki. But actually, to confidential pastime, especially like that mentioned, Raman Rai mentioned, they like become one. That Lira only Radha Dashi could see, could feel it. So therefore, for us, Radha Dashi, this bus could understand him as a Radha Dashi perspective. That's natural for, for, for us because very confidential pastime, like Nikunja, that Saki cannot enter or cannot see. Only Lana Dashi, Manjari could see and could taste it. So, therefore, my understanding this was for us. This describing <laughs> Dasi, Lada Dasi is, you know, Baba, process of you know, to becoming Lada Dasi of <laughs> Yes, very nice. I also thought the same. <laughs> One thing I yes. realized. <laughs> I listen this past time many times, but today my reaction is I see this Radha Krishna in the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and this is happening there. So today in my a sorry bow, I feel is all happening to Shaitan also, and is happening to Radha. Hi, <laughs> how good is? So I also would like to clarify more for myself, though, because I'm very stupid. This the general expression of Saki bath is like a general <laughs> word where there is summer snare could be summer snare could be addict snare but of course we are addict snare so we see ourselves like you say Jainanda Maharaj for us it is addict snare Dasis but it could also be meaning uh, summer snare is this right, Gurudev? Can they also think that this is us, the Sakis? 
एक्चुअली मनी इज अ सो हाईली सीक्रेट वर्ड यस यस दे आर हाइडिंग इट to tell manjari bhai is very confidential radha dasi is hidden shadow this so the very confidential to introduce that i am a manjari so who got the siddha they had siddha is also not so is so confident so sakhi gopi the same each other talking but not with the reality no <laughs> reality this is the point with the manjari tale is a very very confidential and very hidden son so this is the most ideal because they never showed that point so let's maybe read what prabhupad was uh, writing to that verse he is writing because he used the word gopis instead of sakis because we are used to use the word sakis so let's hear to attain such service one has to follow in the footsteps of the gopis in the ecstasy of sakhi bhav then only can one understand the transcendental mellow of conjugal love in the ujjwala nilamani shri rupa goswami advises one who expands the conjugal love of krishna and his enjoyment among the gopis is called a sakhi such a person is a confidential gopi in the conjugal affairs such assistants are like jewels in the form of krishna's confidence hello for my this confidential right read again bro such a person is a confidential gopi in the conjugal affairs you see this is a fast and because the ma Mahajan never mentioned about Mahajan. This is Mahajan Bhav. This is the mercy of Prabhupada. He said, "You know, touch next Siddha because Sakhis are in next Siddha category. Maybe some devotees are practicing Gopi Bhav, so he is so humble in writing this confidential servant of Kamika. That is, you know, what is the." meaning of that clear the part clear is only the person who knows they can understand right yes yeah. so good is this is the one question so in this regard you wouldn't say that it is sanchari How can you say me? How you will say? Because can you understand now if it is Thai bath or Santri bath? Prem vivarta. Yes. It's always both together. It's not only seeing from Shrimati Radhika's side. When so they become Radha, become Krishna, Krishna become Radha. That is from the world. 
महाप्रभु राधा बिकम कृष्णा इन महाप्रभु एंड कृष्णा बिकम राधा सी दैट Sometimes he is become crazy for Krishna, and sometimes he is going to Vrindavan and such places for that. In the bhav of Krishna, you see that. Why you want to go Vrindavan? Because Krishna is crazy to see Vrindavan. महाप्रभुंदाव <laughs> 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 He forget he become Krishna. And which time he Radha become Krishna, and Krishna become Radha by Chaitan Mahatam. Which you have to find it. More deep you will go, then you will find. When Krishna become Radha, when Radha becomes, then it becomes uh, really deep. Mm -hmm. And it goes deep, 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 deep. That is deep pleasure. Right Beyond this material world, we should the. जय हो सो एक्चुअली प्रभुपात इज वेरी न्यूट्रल No, no, I cannot say. It's the most classic <laughs> and Radha Dasi Bhav is not a friend. But he is a classic. Krishna cannot understand himself without his energy. Krishna cannot understand himself without her energy. What is meaning of that? Without that, Krishna is not qualified to understand himself, and we want to understand Krishna without Radha. <laughs> <laughs> But Prabhupada wants to uh, go further, and that why he is actually stating from Uchvala Nilamani some verses also. And there's written the conjugal pastimes of Krishna. Krishna is the hero. Nayaka and Radhika is the heroine. Nayika, Nayika. The first business of the gopis is to chant the glories of both the hero and the heroine. The second business is to create gradually a situation in which the hero may be attracted to the heroine, and vice versa. The third business. Is to induce. The third business is to induce both of them to approach one another. The fourth business is to surrender unto Krishna. The fifth is to create. A jovial atmosphere. The sixth to give them assurance to enjoy their pastimes. The seventh to dress and decorate both 
hero and heroine and the eight to show expertise in expressing their desires. The nine to conceal the faults of the heroine. The tenth to cheat their res respective husbands and relatives. The eleventh to educate the twelfth to enable both hero and heroine to oh. meet at the proper time. I stay here. We teach to the boat. Who is this third person? That is confidential. Mets are meant to fly. There are. Many want to know where is the Manjiri Vahami, Chaitanya Chaitanya's. These are the teacher. And who is the teacher? Confidential maid servant to that time, both of them. <coughs> this to meditate. This is the service of confidential maid servant. <laughs> so Prabhupada is going very deep actually by description. And yeah. he very, oh. very, very, very deep. In this point is still there. What is your duty? That is a side of that is Saru and Saru Siddhi. Who can say like this to you? Huh? Who is that? Show me anyone to teach this, to say this to the preferentially students. That if he is, he is not there, they have a help from this place. Very crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Very crystal clear. Can I say something? Yeah. So then, actually. Who can understand Mahaprabhu? What is happening inside of Mahaprabhu? As you said, Gurudev, today, Nikunja Leela is happening in Mahaprabhu. And who can understand Mahaprabhu only? Who understands what is happening in his heart? And who knows about the Nikunja pastimes? It's the Manjuris. So, automatically, a follower of Mahaprabhu, a true follower like Prabhupada, is, it becomes, it becomes, Clear that he is a Dasi, he is a Manjari. Otherwise, how can he describe Chitanya Chaitanya to us? Impulse. So the details, impulse. Impulse. I can say impulse. Testless. He is a full of test here. More and more meditate. He give the point to be confident, his confidential met servant, how he can become like that. I meditate only this point. How many points are there? My dear, sorry, I... They are actually... Uh, I think it was 17 or 18 points. Ah, so it's sent to me this point. I will try to meditate. Ah, 16. 16 points actually here. 13, 13 is to fan them. 14 to reproach the hero and the heroine. The 15th to set conversation in motion. And the 16th to protect the heroine by various means. So actually, when we read this, it gets very clear, these are actually only doing the mandaris. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, that is Gaurvani. That is Gaurvani. That is Gaurvani. 
Yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. Oh, this is Prabhupada Masi. One time say, Jai yeah, Prabhupada. Jai Prabhupada. Jai Prabhupada. Jai Prabhupada. Jai Prabhupada. Hey, Suniti. Clear to you? Suniti is... I'm Suniti still, is not happy with this explanation. I'm still right trying to uh, digest because it. Because she said that the uh, <laughs> Narayan Maharaj explanation is a uh, it's a mix, and now it's a it's a fix. So she, from the point I understand, from the point to see uh, Swam, um, Goranga, uh, what you explain, this is a, a more complicated thing then only when you see Radhika, but when you like to serve Mahaprabhu, that is, it's not easy no, to say what is Thai bath, because Mahaprabhu is a special meaning. This is a Premi When you might read again and listen again, Listen to chat. Yes. I understand. And then if these lines are sixteen words are very important to be in your sixteen Yes, yeah. it will help you to help to me. So I said, God, why to send to me? Yeah. I will try to do that. One day, time will come in. Actually, also, Gurudev, in the yeah. next verses, in the next verses, which we hear next week, it uh, becomes more clear. Next, next week, now we have something to meditate. Yes, now we have something to meditate. We have to stay here. Yes. You see, meditate because God is there. He will become a. We have to be in a side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, thank you all together. Thank you very much. Thank Radhe, you, Gauravani. Thank you. Thank you all.